day The Expansion Zone with Sonia Barrett Everybody's talking about consciousness Everybody wants that eternal kiss yeah, Everyone's saying there's more than this Everyone wants to follow their own bliss Talking about one love One blood One life in everyone One life Give each other On the Expansion Zone, we examine life and our quest to understand who and what we are and of the vastness of human potentials. We explore the making of our world from quantum physics to parapsychology, health, sociology and philosophy, along with practical living. You are reminded of the possibilities in creating personal change. So for an hour, we'll stimulate and expand the mind. Well, welcome once again to another edition of the Expansion Zone with Sonia Barrett. I'm, of course, Sonia Barrett, your host, and wishing you the best of the day. Uh, whatever is going on, I'm just wishing you the best, the best possible day, because I think we're all aiming for that at this point. And of course, you know, our intro music is by Donna Delory, Be the Change. Uh, and always important, always significant, because what do they say? The only constant in life is change. Uh, but it just depends on what direction you're, you know, you're changing in. What, what is this change that's taking place for you? So I'm also going to remind you that KPFK is in its fund drive. And so I am looking forward to sharing edgy information, information and guests as always. So yes, to a great degree, nothing changes when I do the fun drive. I'm still all about the edgy and the bringing uh, information that uh, is life-changing, mind-changing, you know, all of that. But I'm still going to throw out a quote here today, which is, what is called genius is the abundance of life and health. And that's by Henry David Thoreau. And that's real important. And today's topic is really going to be about building immunity and uh, about anti-inflammatory support, you know, both inside and, and outside of the body. So that this particular moment that we're in really requires that understanding. And who better than our guest, our very familiar voice, Dr. Cass Ingram, and he's going to be joining us, joining us in just a moment. Uh, but based on, you know, what I said, uh, the quote that I, I read, uh, I really would like to say this. And it's a reminder that the body has amazing healing capabilities when it is being ideally supported. This is so very important and should be at the forefront, I think, of everybody's mind. I think otherwise, fear will be your guide and fear does not save lives. It tends to cripple. It can actually drastically affect the effectiveness of our immune system. So let us simply arm ourselves with knowledge about how to maintain the body. This is always going to be the key. Nature is a major part of that healing and support process. Finding ways to support your body's needs at this time is key. I, and I sincerely mean this, let us remember that because I don't hear that emphasis in mainstream media. And that is what we need. We need to arm ourselves with tools and knowledge that will allow us to be self-sufficient in taking care of these amazing vessels that we call a body. 
So, all right, most of you know Dr. Cass, so I'm not going to go through his whole bio, but just a little bit. Dr. Cass Ingram is a nutritional physician who received a BS in biology and chemistry from the University of Northern Iowa in 1979, and a DO from the University of Osteopathic Medicine and Health Sciences in Des Moines, Iowa. Uh, Dr. Ingram has since written over 20 books on natural healing. He has given answers and hope to millions through lectures on, on thousands of radio, TV, and TV shows. And so his website and the full bio, uh, of course, you can find on the expansionzone.com. But his website is uh, cassingram.com. There's other websites, but that uh, is his website as well. So, Dr. Cass, welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, no, it's uh, good to be here. It, it, we, we don't need to make this as complex as it appears to be. There have been times when people in the middle of a pandemic and epidemic's plague did some bits and pieces and could be right thrust in the midst. Didn't, didn't have an issue. Remember the thieves? They used to rob the graves or they used to do something with the corpses. And they were taking a little some some kind of protective tonic, so it's it's about the environment, like you say, the resistance. And we're not talking positively. Everything doom and gloom is going to come get you. We don't. We need to talk about empowerment. The show, uh, so that the individual is resilient against whatever might occur. I mean, this this is one thing. What if the bird flu was to break out? 60% fatalities in humans. So, and even then you could develop a resiliency. So this is easy if you just knew what you were doing. There's no way you're going to get sick if you do some things. Well, that's what it's about. It's knowing what to do. This is the, this is the key here, is knowing what to do. And this is why we're talking to you today. And, you know, you, I went back and I looked at some of uh, the things that you, um, I, well, you had said, but I also had in my notes from a while back. And it's amazing what you mentioned, um, even last year, so people can go back and check that if they want to. So this is not just based on this pandemic. When you talked, you, you spoke about oregano, you talked about its ability to really uh, alter the effects of the flu and viruses, and this is before all of this, because now you know you have to be cautious with saying the word virus. Well, when he said it, this did not exist. This was last year, so here we are again. So, can we talk a little bit about about that? We can. There are two issues. One is killers. In other words, so you have pathogens. Are there any? Is there anything in nature? Now let's give God some credit here. He wouldn't do this. If he's going to put a tree, the tree can't get a virus or a fungus, it'd be dead. It's got to live for 4,000 years or 3,000 or 300 years so it can make oxygen, take trap carbon dioxide. Give him credit. A bear, he couldn't, if the bear didn't have the proper immune system and he wasn't doing something or a deer or a moose or a marten or fox or skunk, they'd, you know, they'd all have these diseases and this pandemic like this would wipe out pockets of them. So there's something that they either consume or within their immunity that empowers them in the trees and the plants and so on. There, so those are the killer substances. There are actual plant matter particularly that are antiseptic, they have to be, otherwise the plant would be sick all the time. And, and, and so there's the killers and then there's the immune potentiators. Your zinc, your vitamin C, your vitamin A, we'll get into it, your B complex. So what can you do to build up the immunity? What can you take? that would act uh, to kill germs? Or if you had a germ, what can you consume that will knock them down? The resistance and the killing. So that gets us to the oil of oregano, really. Or the, now the juice of oregano is what we're using in a scientific study, the wild oregano spray with the oregano bay leaf we're using. But the, these medicines have antiseptic capacities. It's not just capacities, they just are antiseptics. And if you wanna be smart, you can boost your immunity, but you better take the killers. And garlic and onion, I mean, it's just a whole list. But yes, but, but also interestingly, I mean, everything you're saying, no, we've been taking 
the oregano. We've got the juice, the spray, um, and, and all of that from way before this all happened. And I have had to travel on the plane twice since this happened. So what do I keep with me? I have the spray. At least I have a spray with me and I have the oil with me. And I tell you, I've been armed with that, you know, both myself and my spouse. He's been armed with it. And we know that it has definitely been impactful in the sense of um, what it probably keeps at bay from, from, you know, from an allergy to a cold to whatever. So you, I'm, yeah, I'm agreeing. I know what, what this product is, which is why I asked you to come back and yeah. talk about this. I mean, there's, there's this issue of killing. And also the killers have a secondary property, which is that they shut down the inflammatory cytokine response. This is why you got to give our creator a little more credit and just say, okay, for any disease, we can find the cure. All we got to do is be the finders, the hunters, the, the medicine hunters. How it's done is that when you deal with a spice oil that's antiseptic, so let's say oil of oregano, oil of bay leaf, oil of wild sage, any of these wild mountain grown. So if you give them to somebody with a cytokine response, that's the inflammatory response that we're concerned about, that the body overshoots and you get this reaction and the person can get double pneumonia and die or you know, uh, end up on a respirator, die. You, 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 can't, you can't even get there if you're doing this. You notice that when you were flying and moving around, you didn't get anything. No, I did what, well, what you had said as well. I wore, well, I wear a scarf. So my scarf, even if it's, though it's around my, my neck, I did put the spray uh, all over in, in my scarf. And so while I'm sitting there, I'm, I'm inhaling it. Even if it's not covering my face, I'm I'm smelling it. I'm inhaling yeah. it. Yeah. Then, then then the mask serves a purpose. It's a fumigation device or the scarf. But the point is, the cytokine gene and the cytokine response is turned down by spices, black seed oil, oil of oregano, oil of bay leaf, oil of cinnamon, turned down clove bud, and then and then so so oregano is an antiseptic, antiviral, antifungal, antibacterial. I mean, how are you going to get sick from a germ, right? If you boost your immunity so that you have the vitamin A capacity, the zinc capacity, the vitamin C capacity, the B complex, the amino acids, if you have a good uh, milieu in your environment, that's a big resistance. But you can't take that risk alone. Let's say I went into a hot zone with COVID-19, say, or some other virus. Something was going on. There's a sick zone. I'd be taking my oil of oregano, sucking down the juice, using the spray all the time. I don't want to get anything. Why would I? Uh, so, so yeah, I mean, there are restrictions on what we're ta- supposed to talk about, but we can surely talk about as an author of the COVID-19 remedy, The Real Truth Revealed, what I would do if the hospital called me in. I'm not that necessarily uh, going to, you know, suit down unless they made me. I'd be suited down with the wild oregano. <laughs> I <laughs> PPE, the spray, the oil, the juice, the oregano shield. That's just me. And uh, I'm already doing the immune potentiator. So let me make it clear again. Potentiate, but also take the killers, both from the diet and the supplements and the cytokine killers. That's all you need to know. That's three things. That's it. Don't get complicated on me fearful, don't get worried, don't get frightful, don't get uh, so concerned. Jeepers. It's arm, it's arming yourself. I mean, that's just the bottom line of it. And that's with, you know, anything in life. It's like when you are armed with knowledge or when you have a plan or you have some sort of roadmap, it's, it's much easier to proceed. And we do the same thing with different, you know, different aspects of our life. Yeah. But yeah, but now we're talking about health. And I think that, Dr. Cass, I think that the body tends to be, for many people, secondary or maybe thirdly in thought. And now I think we're in a time where people are sort of forced to realize that what the how, you know, the body, its vulnerability and its dependence on people knowing what to do to support it as it tries to fix itself. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you've got the fix it uh, widget, 
that you need to deal with. Uh, but like I say, our kind creator and his mercy has given us killers that, and you know, the sh little stop gaps, little cheat sheets that, you know, who has the time? Some stupid germ comes out of who knows what the pig farms in China, you know, H1N1 is doing, trying to brew now, let alone COVID, whatever. Something happens. It starts to sweep the world. Instead of giving it the power, give the nature the power, give the plant kingdom the power, and find something that you could take. You, you know, whether you whether you study my scientific assessments or you you you, you study the books and the the PubMed, you're going to find that the oregano is the kingpin as a natural antiviral. It is. I mean. Maybe you're not supposed to say it. Maybe you're not you're supposed to say it. The fact is, when Siddiqui did his research in 1995 under the electron microscope, he found that the oregano oil dissolved the viral coat. He called it remarkable. When we did our work on the human coronavirus, influenza A, and the bird flu and published it in antiviral research, we found that the oregano collapsed the oregano oil, the bay leaf, they, they, the, the sage, the cumin collapsed the virus, collapsed it so that 99.9% .9 fatality of the germ in vitro, in cell culture, within two minutes. That was one dose. So that's why if you're involved, you're a nurse, you're a doctor, you're a physical therapist, you're a frontliner, you're a fireman, you're a policeman, just take the oregano. Now, and when we did our research, we found that the juice was exceptionally valuable, just so people know. For the tough cases, the aromatic essence had a, had a power that nothing else did. Even, even the oil was good, but the juice for the cough, people with, you know, I'm not talking about necessarily a disease. Yes, we did it on a disease. Yes, we did it on the subject matter now. But, but just in general, if you have a cough, if you have sore throat, I don't have time to you know, to rush around and say, well, what herb would be good? Is it echinacea or should I take goldenrod? I don't, I just, or seal. I, I just do the oregano. If something hits me, it's on, I'm on it. We do the same thing. It's, and I carry it in, in my purse because, yeah, I think there are times when maybe I, I probably could have come down with maybe a something, you know, your throat feels a little scratchy or whatever. Um, we just, we take the oregano oil and that, that is the truth. That's what, you know, we've done for a, quite a long time. Now, so, when we did our study, we, we used the spray. Isn't that interesting? The nurses um, that found that people didn't like the hotness of the oregano or whatever. So the nurses and the physical therapists were given this spray. They sprayed it when they got the scratchy throat, the sore throat, the, the congestion, the chest, the pressure, whatever. They sprayed it at the back of their throat. Oh, wow. Now, they go ahead. And they did it four or five times until they, it cleared it up. And that's what they use to protect themselves in the midst of all this. Now, you're talking about the, the spray. Can we, let's talk about that because I want to talk about the, um, the other things as well. But the spray. Now, it's very interesting that, which is the Orega spray, interesting that I, I didn't know this. But I have a relative, I have a cousin who is actually in a rehab center. She has um, some health issues and she has, I guess maybe, I guess what is called gout. She, I, I didn't know that's what it was, but she had pain in her feet, I guess, all, right. at, at nighttime. And so I didn't realize how bad it was. And um, we had sent her the oil and the spray as well. And surprisingly, she decided to spray it on her, her feet, I have feet, legs, wherever the pain was. And because she couldn't sleep at night because of the pain. And then she told me, I didn't even ask her. She was just telling me, she says, man, that, that orego spray, that spray is so good. She said it reduced the pain in my legs drastically she said you have no idea how much pain i was in um I, I, and then um i had my well another another relative uh, my sister-in-law ex-sister-in-law and she had 
come by the house and she had um she's a little a little overweight and has to have knee surgery so she has to lose weight for that but she was complaining because she had to sit down because of her knees and i remember what my cousin said so i said you know what L- let me spray this let me try this on you let's spray it and i did and then a short while after she calls me she goes do you have any more of that spray? I've got a pain now right at the top over here, my shoulder. Yes, <laughs> so, here, over there, in here. Give me some spray. I have no idea that it would work on like that, though. So well, you want to talk about that? I, I didn't know that. I, I can. First of all, it's micellized, right? So then, therefore, it passes through the fatty membrane. So if you have the back of the throat, you get it immediate. If you get the skin that's got a resistance membrane there. You got to get through that. So the spray would do that. Case history. I had a guy who had a fulminant boil from the barber. The barber, must, his blade must have been bad. And he was, and so I just took the spray. I sprayed it on a piece of cotton. I held it against the boil and it, it ate the boil away. Just, it, it was, by the next day it was toast. I talked to someone that had a spider bite and they just sprayed the spider bite and it ate it off. I, I don't know. I, I mean, you're talking about oil of wild oregano, but it's so well absorbed through this spray. You're talking about oil of bay leaf, oil of wild lavender, not regular lavender, and also oil of clove bud. What, what are we doing here? So this cocktail is just amazing. Yeah, and it's simple, right? It's not got 20 ingredients in it, and it's all spice oils, and they just make it to a cream so that it's emulsified and mycelized so that if you spray it on a mucous membrane or in on the skin it goes right through wow yeah well this yeah for me it's it's first hand um knowledge or first hand hearing of you know or knowing that it works in that manner so well, we had the person that coded i guess you know i don't know, you know if this is correct venue for that but it's it's a it's a life and the code, uh, they, they smuggled the spray into her room, not really smuggled, she was part of our study. And she, they, she survived the code, but they thought she'd die. So they sprayed the back of her throat with this. That's all they did. She survived, her oxygenation improved, her arterial her blood glasses improved, everything got better, and they released her. She's a nurse, right? Right. Uh, so we wonder about the 200,000 deaths and whether or not a little different approach of medicine where they allowed a little more natural medicine and people became more empowered and educated so that they'd say, well, no, grandma, I'm going to make sure you get, I'll hire my lawyer. I'll send you in a bottle. You know, uh, we're coming. The forces are, the forces behind you. That's what we need. Then speaking of the forces behind, behind you immediately, I thought, okay, we've got to have the shield. (laughs) <laughs> which yeah. brings me to Oreca Shield. Yeah. Um, so you want to talk about that as well. Oh, I love that product. That's a beeswax oregano bay leaf em- black seed oil emulsion. And then when you put that under the nose or the nurses are putting it up the schnozola and you put it on your PPE or your mask to fumigate if you want, you put it on the bottom of your feet or your shins, your hands. Man, I mean your temples, forget it. You've got, you've got sustained release of antiseptic oils in beeswax, and beeswax is quite medicinal. You think about a bee. If you were 50,000 of them shoulder to shoulder, barring this new collapse disease from the GMOs, but normally, there's not any infection. Otherwise, they'd all be dead. So they do produce all sorts of unknown antiseptics that uh, that that you can benefit out of the wax or the, uh, out of the, the, the propolis or what have you. And uh, the honey itself, yeah, it's. And you've talked about uh, even in the nostril, even you, you've mentioned before, even being able to put it in the nostril. Is that the I same one? do that anyway at the health food store level. They want to just be prevention, but there's some people with sinus, bronchial, congestion, nasal polyps, and they're sticking it up there. You know, it's a, a book. And, it, and it lasts, I mean, between the spray and uh, the shield, if you're using it as a, um, 
what should I say? Well, if you're using them both as, as a shield and a um, cleanser as well for your hands and so on, it lasts, what, all day? How long, oh, yeah. How long does it Oh, yeah, 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 a long time. Uh, you know, the other thing, if you were going to go into a public toilet, that spray, it disseminates these pathogens. And this has been proven in China and Hong Kong. They had 150 people got sick with the SARS coronavirus, for example, from one toilet, one guy. Hmm. So that if I ever go into a public toilet, I'm, I might spray my way in with the Arega, or the Arega spray, spray around when I, you know, whatever happens. And then I, I would go in with the shield, even more than the mask. That's up my nose. Right. So. Oh, so uh, you're, yeah. So you're putting it in your, in your nose and that's a, well, that's, that's a masking that's happening inside yeah. of your, your nostril with the bee wax too. Yeah. With the beeswax. I mean, mm-hmm. you, it's a guaranteed uh, blockade and you know, we gotta, we gotta take the attitude of fight, right. get, get strength back up. We can't succumb to a bunch of media sound bites. We don't have the data. If we don't have the data, then just protect yourself, just in case. Because who knows? Maybe somebody went doo doo. They happen to have an asymptomatic ca- uh, a case, or maybe somebody slobbered on something, and you know you touch the slobber. You can't inevitably. You might touch your eyes or your face, but if you throw the barriers up, then you're not going to get anything. I don't have time to worry about buying a bunch of chlorine wipes and wiping down the st- grocery. I, I don't. I, I can't even fathom it. I'll Damn. end up on. Prozac and Zoloft and get out the <laughs> You gotta live. We're, we're, we're built to live 24 hours a day. 24 That's hours true. a cycle, live and sleep. So Absolutely. don't you dare lose your life, you know, in your mentality. Absolutely. And, um, and also, um, now that you mentioned that in terms of the disinfecting, one of the things I just read recently is they're talking about, uh, I think 10 hand sanitizers that they're now asking people not to use yeah. because of what's in it. So, right. you know, everybody's going and pumping the sanitizer things everywhere. And my whole thing is, I don't know what's in there. I don't know. So that's why I spray my hands. That's why I carry it. Yeah, you know, this Arega spray, by the way, you could dilute that 50 to 1. We did the study and we found out a 50-fold dilution killed everything that we tested it against. It, yeah. It's just, it's a super concentrate. So let's say you wanted to use it around the house. You would take uh, it for your vegetables or your counters or whatever. You wouldn't use it full strength. You'd waste it. You'd yeah. take it down tenfold or twentyfold. That's what we do with the, um, uh, we have a spray. Actually, we keep it in the, in each bathroom. We, at the time we use the oil and we have it in some water and then we just use it to spray. Yeah, and you could put a little teeny bit in your pump soap, like a teaspoon. It'd be more than enough. Right. Now, let's also talk about zinc. I want to talk about these things before we go to break, simply because I'd like to let folks know what we do have for them, and then we're going to get into more of this and and talk about the book as well. Now, zinc, which is sort of coming up more. They're talking about it more in the media. And shown in studies uh, that zinc helps reduce the symptoms of cold. So it, it does potentiate the immune response. It has a very modest antiviral action, but it's a good thing. And it's involved with 100 enzymes, uh, antibody formation, white cell production. We should have zinc. And if, if we're deficient, we don't necessarily need to take high dose zinc. But we must get plenty in our dietary and through our nutritional supplements to have a baseline of the mineral. So you have that purely zinc that I think you're trying, which is pump, it's defatted pumpkin seed. You see, uh, and then the rice bran, so it's a dense source of natural zinc, ionic zinc. It's going to be more, far more effective. And then you don't have to push so much zinc that you disrupt your copper balance and you get an issue there. So I only... I won't take this. I won't take the synthetic. Uh, I'm I'm a big fan of this. Uh, I'll take two tablespoons every day or every other day, and then I'll you know I'm a familiar guy with nutritional deficiency, having published on this. I know the top sources of zinc in the diet. 
They are red meat. Grass-fed red meat, of course, is the way to go now. They are seafood that we, some many of us love, uh, a nice lobster, shrimp, crab, uh, or oysters, especially oysters. They are in, it is in nuts and seeds, especially the pumpkin seed. There are limited amounts uh, in vegetation. So there's, you have to eat, consume zinc rich food. And if you do the food, it's got the copper balance. If you do the purely zinc, you've got the copper balance. Uh, so, uh, and, and, and we'll talk about that supplement. I love it. Okay. All right. Well, what I'm going to do, because we're going to go to break in a moment, but before we go to break, here's what I want you to know. Now, you've heard everything that we've talked about so far, Dr. Cass has shared with us so far, and I am telling you that I contacted Dr. Cass and I said I wanted to put something like this together in support of what's going on right now and with, with people and the fear and just just something simple, simple things that work, that I know work because we use them. And so we have what we call the Wild Oregano Immune Support Pack. And it has the purely Zinc Plus healthy immune support, which is what uh, Dr. Cass was just talking about, the Orega Shield, um, uh, the Orega Spray, the oregano uh, juice, the P73 juice that he's been talking about, and his book, his new book, uh, COVID, uh, COVID-19 Remedy. Well, he'll give the, the clear full title of it. I don't know if I said it all correctly, but, um, but anyway, so we've got this amazing, amazing pack for you. And it's for a pledge of $225. That's the pledge for this pack. Now, what I like to remind folks of as well is that these are thank you gifts to the station and for supporting this show and the entire station and all your favorite shows. It's a thank you gift. So you are pledging in support of the station. And these are the items that we are saying we want to gift you with for that pledge. So you can call 818-985-5735, 818-985-5735 to pledge for this Wild Oregano Immune Support Pack, a pledge of $225. And of course, you know, you can put it on a, a credit card if you wish. And if you wanted to split up the payments, which technically what you're doing is um, it's $18.75 per month that goes towards supporting the station. And it's, it's appreciated because I get to keep doing this show, The Expansion Zone, and keep bringing on guests like uh, Dr. Cass and so many others that you've said, oh, I love the people that you have on. So 818-985-5735, it's the Wild Oregano Immune Support Pack. So what we're going to do right now is we are going to take a short break and we will be right back after this brief message. And we are back. We're coming to you from KPFK 90.7 FM in Southern California and streaming live at kpfk.org. You are listening to The Expansion Zone with Sonia Barrett, and that's me, your host, and of course, my guest, Dr. Cass Ingram. We are in the fun drive, as you know, and we are talking about the power of uh, this wild uh, oregano and a whole package or system that will support you through the, this whole process and the healing uh, process and just supporting the system, the body system and the mind as well. Because when you're not worried about the, the body, man, you give the mind a break. Uh, which is very, very essential at this point. So, yeah, I mean, we've got to do something because some guy started cursing me in my parking lot, my own parking lot, <laughs> screaming and yelling. He came, I put an ad in the paper and to, to buy certain thing. He came to look at these things and uh, he was cursing me and telling me, uh, uh, what did he say? He said that you're being rude for not wearing a mask. It was in a, like 85 degrees. It was a nice day. Why would it? We don't have to wear a mask outside here in Chicago. 
And, oh, okay. In and, Chicago, you don't, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was yelling and screaming. So, I mean, obviously, I, th I was looking how toxic the poor guy was. Obviously, we have a large percentage of our humanity that's out of balance. Uh, and that this has pushed people to the limit of their psyche. So don't even go there. Just arm yourself with uh, the, uh, the, the protective devices. You know, and as a courtesy uh, to the KPFK listening audience, I'm going to spike the kit with my book, The Health Benefits of Wild Oregano. It's a, it's a 60 page book, it's a pocket book, and you'll be able to know everything big about the oregano. I'm going to put that in. Uh, that's on me. Oh, wow. Very nice. Very nice. Because, yeah, the more, the more information that a person has, the more information you're armed with, is the more comfortable you feel. You feel like you know what you're doing. You feel like you've got some, some solid ground on which to stand. And so, yes, you, you don't have to get upset with other people because what's the, what's the truth here, Dr. Cass? We cannot control what other people do. We just, we can't control that, but all that we can do is control what we do and how we respond. That's right. And so, and the best thing we, that could be done is to immunize the tissues because you don't know what's going to go on. A bunch of people might go out and get an experimental vaccine. They could shed the virus. You choose not to. Uh, I choose not to. You choose not to. But uh, it could get a little bit crazy in the next six months. It could be uncrazy. Uh, so as long as you can't really get sick from something that could throw you into a double pneumonia or into a hospital, which puts you at high risk, as long as you're staying strong and powerful, you can handle a little bit of attitude, a little bit of craziness without getting out your dagger and jabbing it into the back of the guy or, or having somebody come and shoot you with a six shooter. And there's That's crazy good. stuff going on right now. Don't you know, just try to prevent as much craziness by making you and your family uh, extremely healthy. That's kind of what the kit does. Absolutely. And, and, you know, and if you're wearing a mask, this is why the, um, what is it? The, the shield, you can do the shield, you can do the spray, wh whichever one inside of the mask, correct? As a, as a well, fumigator, you, you as you said, which one? You should do it because the masks typically contain synthetic petrochemicals and you have to neutralize some of that uh, toxicity Otherwise, the mask could cause gassing out of formaldehyde and, and, and other noxious components, which there are, there are fatalities in China right now from using masks during exercise, N95s. But, but then you have the issue of microbes. You're going to collect microbials on your mask, whether it's a bandana or a, a, a synthetic. So you got to do something. Otherwise, you're going to get yourself sick, potentially. Uh, we, I, have, I work in a place where uh, uh, there was a group of masked people because they're involved with encapsulation of things. Those people make fun of the oregano oil. And they also make fun of our, our suggestion that people don't eat pork uh, because it's got the coronavirus and cross-contamination. So they're big pork eaters and they're big mask wearers. Guess who got sick with the COVID-19? the people who refused to take the oregano and that uh, didn't follow any of the advice. So it's more about your environment because you know, there are another 20 people working around them, but they all take the product. Why didn't they get sick? Why didn't 20 oregano oil users get sick around six COVID-19 cases? Uh, it's, uh, it's quite clear that it, for, it's a spiritual divide. People listening to this show, let's do this. Let's take some action just in case. And I want to protect myself and my family. And I have to travel. I have to go over to China. I have to go overseas. Have, uh, and I don't want to get sick, come back, and have somebody fever fever check me and quarantine me. You know, I just want to go and live my life normally. It's the, it's the oregano that do that. You know, the shield, the spray, the oil. And you have nothing. Here's the thing, too. You have nothing to lose. You have nothing to lose. For for somebody that's that doesn't know what to take, but they're afraid. They're running around in fear. What would it hurt then if, if you were to go ahead and, you know, follow some of these protocols with the oregano and, uh, and still do what, you know, what it is that you're doing. You're still, you know, wearing your mask. 
um, and you know, you're six feet of, apart and all of that. But then just to add these components. I know several practitioners who got sick with full PPE. We don't know if it was an outgassing or if their immune system was corrupted, but nobody's getting it if they do full oregano. You can do the PPE, but the full big time protection guarantee is to pound the oregano, to use the topical agents to get that shield up the schnozola. After I published the study assessment of 50 nurses, after all, on the website with physical therapists, and nobody got it. If they had a scratchy throat, they had a headache, they had a, the beginning of fever. If they did, they would just take more. But that's a lot of people. To have 50 people on the front line in a hospital not getting anything it should be about six or seven percent, uh, but nothing. Which is, you know, why I had sent this to, um, again, to my relative who is in um, like a nursing home environment and she's armed. So she is not suffering. She hasn't had a, a cold. She doesn't have the flu. She, she is quite armed with, um, with, with oregano. Oh, that's good. Did you hear what happened in the nursing home in Massachusetts? They said that she was going to die. Her daughter got her some juice of oregano and some spray and some other things. And the, the, you know, the 80 year old got out of the double pneumonia. Then she went around and stopped the death rate in the nursing home by sharing this knowledge with the clientele. Uh, so, you know, somebody says it's anecdotal. How anecdotal is that? You, you give the vaccine and the guy and 25% of the people get violently sick. That's anecdotal too. Right. Uh, so, so, you know, you have proof that by protecting yourself, with these antiseptic oils. Now there's something about how God did it. It's again, this ability for the same agent to kill germs and to block the cytokine. So yeah. that even if you got the virus in you, you see what I mean? If you got the right. virus in you, it still couldn't cause this sudden crisis that we're seeing that's leading to fatality, that's leading to uh, fear and panic as people's chest close down and the oxygenation. And it's a, it, it, it's a novel germ. It's presenting a, a number of things, but it seems to be just as much man-made, just like H1N1 was, just like the swine flu was, as it is an actual thing. So don't, don't you allow a genetically engineered potential germ in your body you should take the oregano preventively. Now, when we did the study, it was you, a lot of the uh, practitioners used the juice of oregano. They used it for the chest. And it's ionic, it's rapid. For respiratory, you're, you're, is that what you're saying? Respiratory or? Um... Yeah, for the cough. It doesn't really, I don't know if it says that on the label, but for the congestion. Oh, congestion, okay. For the pressure on the chest too, mm -hmm. they're using it. Mm -hmm. These are nurses and other practitioners on the front line. This is not a, just a joke. Now, there the, and there's really not a lot of people doing anything with people who are vulnerable. Not, not, not necessarily vulnerable immune system, I mean vulnerable because they're working with sick people. That's what we're doing. And, and so we know we have good data that people who were on the way out, even some, we had one marathon runner that was not a nurse, but she had written her will to die. She's an attorney that she drank basically an entire bottle of juice of oregano in desperation. And she, she's alive to talk today. Uh, you know, I mean, yeah, it, not so it's, much, it's just not so much making a claim it's just to share with the KPFK audience what we're finding. Right. And again, just emphasizing to anybody that's listening, please, I, I'm asking you to just listen with an open mind. This is, is no need for anybody to get upset. Nobody's saying anything about curing. Nobody's saying anything about that. What we're saying is to arm yourself to support your immune system at the end of the day. If you are, if your body can't fight, even a little cold, it's going to be, there's going to be a problem. So yes. this is about not just this particular pandemic, 
but in just building your body for right. anything that may come uh, in the future, even if we go back to having, you know, what is it, uh, uh, flu in the in the winter time, it's 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 all of that. So it's not just based on this moment, but this moment just happens to be intense and severe. It does, and it seems that we don't know about the fall and the in the winter. It could be okay, no big deal. Uh, there could be another pathogen uh, coming out from the roost. It, it's just not worth going all through this and then having somebody say, you can't do this, you have to be quarantined, you, you can't travel. Uh, I just, I'm not interested in having a bunch of people telling me what to do. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, uh, I, I just you, wanna, you know, just do your thing. Uh, and, and then if somebody says you have to wear a mask or whatever, but you, you just do whatever and then you go and do your thing again. Right, um, right, and, right. Uh, Absolutely. It's not about the fight. It's not about the anger. It's not about any of that. It's about what? Numero uno, number one. You can't help anybody else. What do they say on the plane? Put your mask on first before you um, help the child or anybody else. And we, we have to. And this is the shield that we're talking about. This, um, this, this pack, this wild oregano immune support pack so that you can arm yourself and you can also help others to understand this. Um, so the wild oregano immune support pack for a pledge of $225. And it, again, it is a gift to the station and these are I mean, it's, yeah, well, it's a gift. It's a donation to the station. And these are thank you gifts that we are um, presenting you for supporting the station. That's the Purely Zinc Plus Healthy Immune Support. Uh, and that's a, that's a powder, by the way. It's a 15.9 ounce um, pack. And the Oregano Shield uh, Slow Release Formula. And that's the uh, one with the, the beeswax. Um, yes. And then the oregano spray, uh, and and the great thing with all of this is you can you can well you can travel with these particular ones. One is the powder you can travel with it. It's not a liquid. Um, the sprays and the orega spray is uh, two ounces, so it's an ideal size to travel with as well. And the orega P seventy three juice um, that's twelve ounces. And then you've got the COVID remedy book, and that's going to be uh, an instant download. Again, this is a wonderful pack. 818-985-5735. 818-985-5735. Arm yourself. 818-985-5735. And then I, we added the little fantastic health benefits of wild oregano. Oh, and that's take, right. Yeah, you can, you know, it's a good thing. You can take that juice of oregano. That's just for the KPFK audience, by the way, this deal. Uh, you can take the oregano juice and put it in a two ounce too uh, and use it as a spray. By the way, use the oregano spray on the light bulbs when you're in the hotel to fumigate ah. the room. Uh, spray the bedding and, uh, and wipe, you know, wipe your counters. The, the risk of contracting this germ from going to a hotel is pretty minimal. Even right now, the air, air travel is not too bad, but air travel, you're caught in a little box of of air. So there you do want to take some precautions. There are other pathogens too, TB and molds that you can contract. And so so regardless if you're traveling, uh, if you're just at home, if you're going out and about, now you can now you can be free and without worry or concern with your right. PPFK immune pack kit. And for those um, who are able to, depending on where you are, that's able to uh, connect with certainly family uh, members in person. If you are armed with these, uh, you know, these products that we're talking about, if you are armed, it's going to make a big, big difference. And this, the heavy stress factor will not have to be there. I am not telling people to go and to do any of this. I'm just saying, if you are already doing that or, want, or choose to do that, you're gonna be better equipped um, for, you know, for being in a space with, with other uh, families. Actually, I think this is so true that this, two, this kit is, is like, this show is worth just listening the, the price. 
uh, to have this information more, more thorough than all the sound bites for six months that you've heard. Because everything you need to know, increasing your garlic, onion, increasing your citrus, Californians, you know, increasing your amino acids, making sure you get your zinc, plus taking the kit components and some oil of oregano if you can get that. Everything you need, we just talked about in the 50 minutes. So that's worth what to you? And to keep bringing this kind of information, because that's, you know, that's what we do. Um, we bring this kind of information. We have to keep KPFK going because you know what happened in New York. So California has a little advantage. Uh, there's a chance that the public can come behind you. And, and look, you're getting 100 bucks worth of stuff anyway now, the $10 book. I'm going to pitch you. You can just get the kit. Don't mess around on the internet. Uh, you know, support something good. And maybe we can have another show like this uh, if there's another crisis or if not. But, right. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's, it's just permanently arming yourself at all the, times. And the juice, the juice is big. You got to get into it. Whether yeah. when I was in Turkey, the, the village doctor said, you Americans need some help. We don't use the oil of oregano here. We use the juice. I said, well, what do you use it for in 1998? He said, we use it for cancer, heart disease, diabetes, arthritis. I said, you, you want to get me arrested? I start talking about that. <laughs> you know? But hey, the guy was right. And this was 1998. So 1998, I was with the village chief. And then he showed me a picture of people with goiters, thyroid goiters and cancers and adenomas. And he gave them the juice. And then he showed me another newspaper article where all of them had a normal neck. I mean, you know, it got my attention as a clinician. Isn't that something? But we will never hear of this on the, the one, the, the, the mainstream platform, which has the largest capability of what? Of, of um, impacting Determine. such a large, right, a large amount of people. We will not hear this information. And uh, I think people really need to sort of come, you know, come to that realization, come to that realization. Why aren't you being told about how, taking care of your your health and building your immune support and and not to eat certain things maybe at this time because it's yeah, gonna, sugar. yeah right. lower your immune system as you said the sugar the flour uh, you know all of those things so it, it's a real what self empowerment moment if it one is. chooses to look if if I were you I would not make my body acidic. Uh, I would eliminate the sugar, the white flour, the deep fried foods, and uh, pork flesh. These, these are the big ones that we know are connected because we've researched this. And I wouldn't take the flu vaccine. I would do some modifications to reduce your risk of contracting some, uh, you know, some illness. Oh, boy, yeah. Now, uh, Dr. Cass, we have probably maybe about two minutes. Is there anything else that you want to add it. I mean, you've said a lot. I mean, you know, obviously we can't start a whole conversation again, but <laughs> so many yeah. things to talk about. Well, I, I think that, that it's impossible to, you know, risk yourself with traveling now, with moving around to suffer an unknown respiratory complaint and then panic, go get tested, end up being followed and quarantined. You know, it's just, I don't have time. Yeah. Uh, and I do not want to deal with that. I'm not going to deal with it. And if I was to get something, I'm not going to go necessarily and immediately get a test. I'm going to test the oregano oil. I'm going to spray the oregano spray. I'm going to take that juice. I'm going to pound it down until I'm, I'm completely clean of whatever it was. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think that's, that, that's where you as an independent individual, instead of a dependent, right? It's Absolutely. time to, to grow out of the box. Yeah. Yep, it's time for self-reliance. It's time to realize that in the end, you are going to care about you the best. You, at least you're supposed to. You're, you have to trust yourself more than anything else uh, and, and take care of yourself. So again, it's the uh, Wild Oregano Immune Support Pack for a pledge of $225, which you can put on a credit card. And if you really need to, you can split it up. And you have to think from the perspective of, well, you're actually giving $18.75 per month to KPFK to support the station. 
and shows like this and all your favorite shows. 818-985-5735, 818-985-5735, uh, the Wild Oregano Immune Support Pack. You've got six things going in there. You've got the zinc, the Purely Zinc Plus, the Oregano the Orega Shield, the Orega Spray, the Oregano P73 Juice. You've got the COVID Remedy Book. And you've got the health benefits of uh, Wild Oregano, I think is the name of the other book as well. Well, Dr. Cass, as always, I thank you so much for all the knowledge that you come and you keep sharing with us. Uh, I, I am just blessed to have uh, experts like yourself, that are, you know, people who are passionate and, and truly genuine in what they share. So thank bless you so much. God bless and we'll talk soon. All Bye right. Now. Thank you. And thanks to the listening audience for always tuning in. And yes, I would love to hear from you. So go to theexpansionzone.com uh, and you can always send me an email. And uh, to our engineer, D'Angelo Jones, thank you so much. Uh, do visit, once again, theexpansionzone.com for the archive of this show and other shows. And to find out more about me, do visit uh, therealsoniabarrett.com. Also, do subscribe to my YouTube channel. The interviews are also there on, on uh, the YouTube channel. And there is an Expansion Zone TV of some interviews that are uh, on video. So do, again, visit theexpansionzone.com. Well, as always, I do like to remind you to live life to its fullest and question everything. So until next time, see you then. 818-985-5735. And it's that wild uh, oregano immune support pack. See you then.